So if you wonder how to use components and joints, let me show you th that in the next few minutes. So keep watching and like if you like or dislike. Uh, so let's go to insert menu and pick Mac Mastercard component. Just a washer, flat washer. It's going to be metric, and I need M3. So uh, it's going to be stainless uh, 316. Let's just pick this one. Go to product detail. And as let uh, choose step and go save. Just drag it out to the side so you can see it. And now I want to save this out, so I have it like in my project. Let me just rename the component M3 washer 3.16. So, save copy as, pick your folder and just rename it, save, just delete the component, uh, this is a minute, um, just delete. And now it should be here, so we can just insert. And again, drag it out to the side, so you can see it. Now let's just use a joint. Let's pick this edge, and then it's going to be on the underside here. Just pick this edge and reach it. Okay. Now I, I need one more of those. So I just click it, left click, and just uh, copy. Copy, 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 or Control C, and just Control V or paste. Just drag it out to the side and joint or J on the keyboard. Pick this edge and this edge and okay so that's how you go and uh, I want a screw now so let's just I already have this saved so let's just insert this this one let's do the same over again it's never a bad thing to re repeat stuff drag it out to the side okay joint edge Edge rigid is okay, and just go down to the component, control C, control V, drag it out to the side, okay, and J on the keyboard, edge and edge, and okay. There you go. That's how you use components from Mac Mastercard or your own and joints. Happy modeling!